Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and there could be many things that you could be thinking about the fact that there is a Pacific P12 on your screen right now. Now, some of those things might involve uh, thoughts like, why am I looking at a Pacific P16? This truck is old in comparison to a lot of other trucks in the game. Well, now there is a user, a mod creator called DC Insane, that has taken it upon himself to take the Pacific P16 and turn it up not one, not two, not three, but more like, you know, like 25 notches. And uh, we're here to go ahead and check it out and actually see what happens when you take this thing up to its full potential after all of its modifications. Now, you can put up to a 75-inch tire on this thing. You can put an engine in it that goes 40% over the available power of the previous standard truck. You can go so crazy with this variant of the P12 that I absolutely recommend you download this mod and give it a try of course it'll be linked in the description box down below so let's fire it up take it into the garage and see what we can do and one of the best parts about it is because of the fact that it is a default truck you can of course throw beans on the dash like that's by default so it's already got the beans points so engines wise with the hlb 780 the a850 tta then the westline v m900 then we have the v12 m950 which is 20 more cent more power than the 900 then the 980 which is 40 percent more power than the 900 so we're gonna go with the m980 which gets us a s power to weight rating in a p12 sit and internalize that for a second an s power to weight rating in a p12 now gearbox wise you have special fine tune and advanced special now in some of the testing i've done i have found that automatic mode and high are a little faster in the fine tune variant so i would recommend going with that one over the advanced special and suspension wise you have stock raised low raised medium and raised high now let's be real here if you're downloading this truck you're gonna throw the rate the raised high on it otherwise you're gonna use the, the the base one most likely so tires wise you could see that that tire list expands like crazy and also the camera angle when you go into the tire selection is a little different than normal now i'm gonna actually use my mouse for this because i'm recording this on pc because i need the well i don't need the scroll wheel but it's kind of nice to be able to scroll through the list of tires with the scroll wheel. Now, your highway tires will go up to a 75. So will your all-terrains. You have some interesting uh, options in all-terrains, actually. Like, for example, Yar 87 tires, Voron all-terrains, that, once again, go all the way up to a 75 in size. You also have the P12ATs, which, again, go up to a 75 as well. Then, once you get into the off-road category, you have things like Hummer H2 tires, P512 off-road tires, which go up to, you guessed it, 75, which you can do with the P512 off-road tires and the 75-inch Hummer H2 tires, uh, which are basically an in-game version of a BFG all-terrain. Then you also have the T01s, which I believe are off the Chevy Apache. Now, when you get into the mud tire options, this is where it gets very interesting. So, these super heavy mud tires are basically machinery tires that have been seen on various cat vehicles within the game. But they have had their parameters modified because, as you can see, they're excellent pretty much across the board, qualifying them as a OP tire. Now, let's go to the ooh, BTR tires, 512 mud tires once again. And what's interesting is those 512 mud tires, I believe, have different coating than the 512 all-terrains. Then you also have your 770G tires and your TH357 tires, which also, the color of the wheels match the base color of the truck really, really well. So I think it really works. Also, if you are about the ZIKZ605R tires, if you like that truck's base tire, you can also throw that on this vehicle here. Now, I really like the 770G. G tires but the cool thing about those is you can actually go all the way up to a 75 with those and you can also if you want to use 75 inch tegas you can do that as well but personally personally i would recommend going with either the 75 inch p12 mud tire or p512 mud tires excuse me 75 inch zikz 605 rs or the 75 inch cat 770 g tires which are the ones i'm going to end up going with at the end of the day now you cannot change the wheels on these but as long as you do a color on the truck that has yellow in the color scheme somewhere it's not going to look too out of place now winch wise you have stock heavy extended heavy advanced heavy and twin motor heavy that's one of the things that i would like to see updated about this mod i would like to see the 
option of a offline winch, but I understand why he might not do it, but at the same time, I would like to see the option thereof. And then spare wheels wise, I'm going to go ahead and throw him on because when you're driving around in a truck this big, you're inevitably, inevitably going to pop a tire or two. And then back to the beginning here real quick, frame add-ons, you can do a crane, you can do log carrier front, you can do log loader crane. I usually just run the flatbed, but you can also run the long flatbed if you so desire. You can do a logging frame add-on, you can do a large maintenance frame, which this truck with this big of a tire would be an incredible maintenance truck. The only thing about that is that the ladder kind of clips through the tire a little bit, which is a little iffy, but you also get the sideboard, the extended sideboard, which that right there would be a great way to blow through a cam pain map with like nothing to get in your way you have a fuel tank an extended fuel tank uh loading crane which is a little glitchy and you also have the roof rack and you also have saddle high now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually do the long sideboard bed because i have a little bit of a cargo challenge i want to do with this truck and bumpers wise you have a good variety of bumpers both bumpers that are uh that are standard on this truck and bumpers that have been taken from other trucks and they all definitely look really really good i think this one actually it's funny because this comes from the twin steer obviously but it doesn't look too out of place there now i might see i think i'm gonna just leave the standard one on it though because that seems to be the best looking one in my opinion now i'm gonna go with the twin horns you can also do beacons and fog lights and roof fog lights if you so desire but since we're not really gonna be needing to concern ourselves with nighttime in the testing grounds uh, i'm not going to put those lights on here however you can if you're going to use this in a modded campaign playthrough now exhaust wise i'm definitely going to go with these side welded ones because i think they look so good on this truck and wheels wise once again you have one option and that's cat 770g wheels now once again though this camera angle looks so freaking cool i love looking at it from that camera angle just like weird little details like that now, the color options are pretty good. Um, they're a pretty similar idea to what you would see normally with this truck. There's nothing that's, like, too over the top about it. But I do like this with the green. You can either do the yellow with the green, or you can do the yellow with the white and sort of the black hood. So it all depends on what you want to do. I like the green because I think it's, it kind of gives it that, like, woodland-esque uh, vibe, but we're gonna go ahead and throw beans on the dash, and of course you have your full range and variety of accessories, stickers, exterior stickers, windshield stickers, and hood ornaments to put on if you so choose. But let's go ahead and take this thing outside and see what it's truly like to drive. Now, a Pacific P12 was never meant to be this big, but at the same time, if you were a handy enough fabricator, you could probably make this work. I mean, a lot of the stuff would have to be custom, like the drive shafts and a variety of other things, but you could probably make something like this happen in real life. I mean, I guess if you tried really, really, really hard and you were very, very, very specific about, oh my God, that stage three fuel tank is massive. Uh, let's load it. I, Dude, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with that. I wonder if we can even keep it in there. We'll have to find out and see, won't we? What do you think, Beans? Yeah, as of recording this video, I would love to see if he would change up the horn. And if he has updated it and changed it up, which he may have if you're watching this later on down the road, uh, the horn may not still be the same, but, you know, or he may decide to keep the same one. It's not really that big of a deal, but the standard P12 horn is not necessarily the greatest sounding one of the game. So that's up to you on whether or not you like the horn uh, or not. I'm not personally the biggest fan of it, but that's not to knock this mod at all, because look at it. It's so crazy. I mean... Very few trucks can touch this thing in sheer, just like, just imposing size. I mean, there's really almost nothing that comes close to this in terms of like, if you saw this come around the corner on the road, I don't know. I mean, most people would probably drive right into the ditch. Like when they saw this, they would probably honestly just drive right into the ditch and you couldn't 100% blame them because it looks like it's going to run over every single thing in its path. But, I mean, my God, what an absolute unit of a truck. What an absolute unit. And the crazy thing is, with tires that big, they look right at home. And that's the coolest part is that they actually do look right at home on this truck. Now, let's see if it can get up this hill. I am actually, like, very curious to see if we can get up this hill because if I was to drive straight up that hill, just, like, not even sideways at all, just straight up it, would I be able to keep that cargo in my sideboard? Let's find out. It's got enough clearance. 
Oh my god. Do you have the torque? Do you have the torque? Even the absolute max engine doesn't quite have the torque to pull that. Oh! Oh, it's so close. I'm like foot to the floor right now. And eventually, it might do it. It's one of those things like, it might do it eventually. I don't know if it's actually going to do it on this run or not, but it may do it eventually. There's no winch points up there, obviously. So we're going to be very careful. We're going to go ahead and ease our way back down. But the fact that it did just that in itself is tremendous. Absolutely incredible potential out of this truck in terms of a modded campaign playthrough. I mean, it's not quite IX quad steer levels of OP, but it definitely starts to inch its way towards the same realm. Now, let's take a look at how it does in the mud. And I've driven this thing on Super Truck Stadium before, and I actually did a test with Diesel Addict in multiplayer there. And it did very, very well, actually, in the mud lanes on, like I said before, Super Truck Stadium. But let's see how it does on the mud lanes here on the default testing grounds, because these are a really good way of gauging how a truck is going to do on the vanilla maps. Now, in high, this does amazing in mud lane number one. It acts like that one isn't even there. Let's try mud lane number two, which it almost completely misses because the turning circle is so incredibly wide. But don't worry about the turning circle. Turning circles are not something you need to worry about when you have 75-inch freaking tires because you just drive over whatever's in your path anyway. And really, at the end of the day, if that's not how you're driving this truck, I feel like you might be driving it just a little bit wrong. Because if you're sticking to the road, I mean, God, you have 75-inch freaking Caterpillar tires on this thing. Don't even worry about the road. All right, low plus to make sure we can lock it in gear and it won't stall. It's funny, the tires are so tall that I really don't see it having an issue with getting high centered here. I mean, the dips obstacle is a gnarly obstacle, sure, but at the end of the day, once again, I don't see it having any problems getting high centered in here at all. If it gets high centered, I would be so incredibly surprised. And keep in mind already, it's done all of this with one of the rocket boosters in the back, or one of, rather, one of the rocket fuel tanks in the back from phase four. So that's one of the tallest cargos that you can haul in a sideboard. And I assumed right off the bat that it was gonna be too top heavy and it was gonna flip over the very first chance it got. And I gotta tell you, I am incredibly surprised, pleasantly so. So now let's make our way to the bridge jump because the bridge jump is going to be, of course, the final test. And you guys know, you guys all expect the bridge jump at this point, but I think for good reason, because really, you want to know whether or not you can yeet your truck into oblivion and then still drive away if you're in the middle of a contract on a map somewhere. So as we ease our way down the road, I'm going to try not to flip over on this corner. It is very, very top heavy, like I said before, although those really wide dualies in the back definitely help distribute the weight, which I'm very, very, very thankful to have. It's nowhere near as top heavy as something like the ANK, which is super ironic because it's a whole heck of a lot taller. Now, heading up the hill, I just want to make sure that we retain our momentum and since fifth gear is all we have, I'm just going to throw it in, in uh, neutral the second we get uh, get going down the hill. All right, moving and neutral. Picking up that speed, picking up that speed, picking up that speed. And bridge jump! Yo, that was so, like, non-dramatic. I got a barrel in the front bumper, but literally that is like the most non-dramatic bridge jump ever from a truck this big. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do let me know your thoughts and opinions on either this truck or anything else in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.